First tonight, nearly 24 hours after a deadly shooting in Huntington, police are still working to determine who the killer is. Jermaine Johnson was killed a little before 1130 last night in Markham Terrace. And News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove spoke with neighbors who say it is deeply unsettling trying to raise children near this sort of violence. Kara Johnson is raising two children here at Markham Terrace. Which dinosaur has spines? Spikes on his back. Oh my gosh, good job, high five. Late Wednesday night, Huntington police say 41-year-old Jermaine Johnson, a grandfather, was shot here and died at a hospital. It's just scary knowing that people are getting killed and it's right next to where you live at. Kara says it's heartbreaking. The person who got his life taken away, he has a family, he has kids. Neighbors say it makes it that much more unsettling the following night for no arrest to have been made. They're hoping this act of violence does not lead to more. You just worry more about what's coming next. We have cookouts, we have families getting together, we have kids that come together. Shreda Myers moved here from Virginia in October. You find out, hey, somebody got killed, like, right here at your back door. So, yeah, no. Um... We scared. Their biggest fear, that one of these bullets one day could harm one of their children. It's very scary for the kids. Bullets have no names. Police have identified two men they say were present at the time of the shooting, Antonio Rowland and Raphael Solomon, and are asking them to come forward for questioning. It has to stop. Neighbors praying whoever's responsible doesn't get away with it. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington. So at this point, detectives are just asking anyone who knows anything about the men they are looking for to give the Huntington Police Department a call. And you can remain totally anonymous. 696-4444 is the hotline, anonymous tip line.